Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben and this week's teacher tip is taking responsibility for your own PD. And PD is professional development. So as a teacher, one of the big things we have to do is we have to maintain our teaching certificates by doing continuous professional development, right? It makes sense. We've got to practice what we preach. If we say education is important, then we need to set an example by continuing to get better at what we do at educating. So my uh, tip this week is just to take responsibility for that on your own. Don't just rely on whatever required professional developments are already in place, but try to get some specific PD. There's so many opportunities online now. Um, I've got some courses in our membership. I've got courses on PE Central. PE Central has a library of courses. There's a ton of other websites. Physedigog.com is a huge resource of free professional development. Connected PE, Jared Robinson, he's got a library of resources on his site. There's tons of bloggers and people that are putting out education uh, or physical education specific content that you should check out. So find something that is specific to you in your situation and is a good fit for you and is it something, an area that you really want to learn about and take responsibility for that PD at the very, very least online. Now, if you want to go to the next level, I wish I had done this earlier in my career. I went to my first conference um, that was like a multiple day conference in college, but honestly, I didn't really get that much out of it. I was really just there to hang out with my friends. Um, I didn't go to as many sessions as I should have. Um, but in, a, in about my fourth or fifth year teaching, I went to a conference and I really spent every minute with intention. I went to all the sessions that I thought would be applicable to me. And I spent all the time that was allocated for like social events and things like that, trying to connect with other people and build relationships and find people that had more experience than me that I could ask questions and learn from. And so take the time to try to go to a conference at least once a year um, because those are the times that are when you're getting face to face with people when you're building relationships um, that can really have an impact on your career and on you as a person and develop friendships and relationships um, and you know ask your administration ask your district to support you but if they say no don't let that be the excuse really try to make it happen and um, try to make your way to a conference if possible so that's my thought for today. There's lots of different ways to do it. You can read a book, take an online course, go to a conference, um, get on YouTube, and just keep an ongoing wish list of things that you wanna do. I know we're all short on time. I've got a wish list of things that I wanna do that I wanna learn about, that I wanna get better at. So when I find myself with a little bit of time, maybe I have a free PD day, or maybe there's an opportunity that presents itself. For example, if your district has PE specific professional days you could if they don't have that ask the person in charge of planning if you could lead something like that for the PE teachers in your district um, so if, it, if it's not there start it and be a leader that helps get things going um, that's gonna look really good on you if you're willing to take responsibility and try to lead the physical education department in your district um, to become better and all the teachers in your district will appreciate it as well so that's my tip for today. Just be in charge of your own PD and um, try to make sure that you're taking responsibility for your own learning. And don't settle for what's already in place. Try to get it to be a little bit better. Hope you guys have a great week. Hope that's something helpful for you to reflect on and have an awesome day. As always, have fun and teach on. I'll catch you later.